who were the six convicts released 31 years after Rajiv Gandhi's assassination. According to the court and charge sheet, how were they related to the assassination plan? And on what basis they are being released after 31 years? Six individuals who were convicted in the Rajiv Gandhi assassination case were released by the Supreme Court this Friday. A.G. Peririvalan, the seventh convict, was released in May this year. Who are these seven individuals and how are they related to Rajiv Gandhi's assassination? Accused number one, Nalini. Nalini is the daughter of a nurse and a police officer in Chennai. Among the seven convicts, Nalini was the only person who was present at the assassination plot, the Sri Perambatu rally where Rajiv Gandhi was killed. Nalini's confession statement in 1998 said that she hosted true Sri Lankan women, Danu and Shubha. Danu was the one who wore the suicide vest during the attack. Nalini was also accused for taking the two women for buying clothes which they were wearing during the assassination and also knowing the plan in advance and also for taking them to the rally. Justice Katie Thomas of the Supreme Court, who disagreed with Nalini's death sentence, said that only at Sri Parmadur rally, Nalini realized that Danu was going to kill Rajiv Gandhi. Katie Thomas also said that Nalini could not have withdrawn from the plan because she knew Santan and Srivarasan would kill anyone who did not stand by them. Accused number two, Santan. Charchit said that Santan was a member of the LTT's intelligent wing and was also close to Sivarasan, the mastermind of the assassination. Sivarasan suggested Santan to continue his studies in Madras and so in February 1990, Santan got his admission in Madras Institute of Technology. His educational and living expenses were taken care of by LTT. Accused number 3, Murugan. Murugan, being a Sri Lankan national, was a hardcore LTT activist. As per the prosecution, Murugan was a member of the Suicide Squad from January 1991. He was sent to India by LTT leader Pottu Amman for drawing sketches and taking photographs and videos of key locations in Chennai. In Nalini's biography, Nalini has said that she knew Murugan through her brother Bakyanathan and eventually she fell in love with him. According to the case, Murugan knew about the arrival of Shubha and Dano from Sivarasan. Supreme Court order said that his role in the killing was very active and direct. Accused number 9, Robert Pais. Robert Pais, another Sri Lankan citizen, is believed to have links with the military group of LTT. Pais was also accused of his close association with Sivarasan. His first child was killed allegedly in action by the P Indian Peacekeeping Force IPKF when she was a 45-day-old baby. Pius, in the Tada custody, gave statements against IPKF and his close links with the LTT. Accused number 10, Jai Kumar. Jai Kumar was sent to India by the LTT in the year 1990 along with Pius, as he was Pius's brother-in-law. According to the charge sheet, Jai Kumar is said to have arranged houses for some of the accused as they were planning the assassination. The prosecution accused him for a serious involvement in the killing and also his close association with Sivarasan. Accused number 16, Ravichandran. Ravichandran is an Indian national who was close with the Tamil Elam movement in 1990. Ravichandran is said to have close links with the LTT leaders even before the armed group was actually formed. He was allegedly told by LTT leader Pottu Amman to help Sivarasan in Madras with sheltering and helping them to escape after the assassination. And the last convict is Peririvalan. The Indian Express has made an exclusive video on Peririvalan and the link is given in the description. Based on Tamil Nadu government's recommendation and an appeal from Sonia Gandhi, all their death sentences were reduced to life imprisonment. And after a very long legal battle by the state government, the union government, the governor and the president of India, all of them were released.